Hi guys, this is Sherry from Sherry Bear Cottage and I am here to do a really fun video. You know, I told you guys, I think I told you that I got my first laminator and I've been kind of playing around with it and yesterday I did some more and so I just want to share that with you and show you what I've done and what I've kind of learned and, and um, see how it goes from here. Okay, you guys, let's get started. Now, this is going to periodically have glare. Let's see if I can get that in here. I can apologize for that. I don't know that I can get rid of it, but without, you know, losing some light. Maybe. Can you still see it that way? Maybe we'll do it that way. That's not so bad. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, well, I got my snap maker here because we're going to close these up with some snaps. And um, I'm going to show you first what I've done. Well, yeah, I should do that first. I'm putting the horse behind the cart, putting the cart before the horse. It's one of those things. Yeah. If you're old like me, you probably know that saying. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And then I'll show you one that I did, okay? How's that? All right, now this, I don't know if you can see, but it has, um, oh, I don't know, half an inch edge on it. And it's just a flower that I found, black and white. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to have in a journal that you could just, you know, take your marker. I don't have one uh, that will, you know, erase. I only got permanent markers and I don't know if they would erase on the, um, I should have found that out for you. Well, before we end, I'll pause the video and I'll tr test it on a piece and, uh, wipe it off and see how it works but if you had this this could be like a little doodling page you know you you could um you know attach it to a page put it in the back uh you could cut this down a little bit um i left it long on each edge because i thought it looked nice and uh, you could also, you know, do something around there. You can put little circles in here. You could put colored lines. Uh, you could do a, a real fun background on this, you know. You could just color it, whatever, you know, you want to try on it. But knowing that you can wipe it off and do it again. <laughs> so I found this one. So I laminated it. It's just one sheet. And... This one also took my interest. It has all kinds of um, little lines. So, you know, I know that any of the children's uh, markers, you can mark right here and wipe it off. I don't have any of those. But, you know, I don't know if the permanent, you know, will come off. It might come off, you know, within 10 minutes of putting it on. Like if you made a mistake, you didn't like it, you could probably get it off easy enough. But, um, yeah, I know they have markers out there that you can put them on a laminate and you can wipe it off. And is it, well, wouldn't that be fun? Can you see that it, very well? I don't know. You see it better down here? Yeah. Anyway, so that's the other one I did. And I don't have a biggest edge on this one because, you know, I wanted to make sure it would fit, you know, within a journal or in the front or the back. Okay, so that was two ideas I came up with with my laminator, which was so fun to use, you guys. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. I can't help myself. Okay, so this right here was um, one of the first ones I made. Uh, this was made from a 12 by 12 paper. I picked the parts out of it that I liked. I put them together. I put... Um, uh, the top so when you opened it you could read it 
but then when you closed it it didn't make any difference this was on the same sheet of paper all the same laminated together and then here you know you've got your um you've got your little thumb spot here where you can put oh my gosh you could put anything in here this could be in your journal this could be used for your supplies you know because it goes way down to here and um you know what better way to store your your supplies you can store your your little tiny um fussy cuts like this you could uh oh my gosh store a favorite little pieces of paper you can store your um trims you could store your words um anything you want and i didn't on purpose i didn't put a little label in here because i thought well that way they could put a label on here and just peel it off a label will peel off real easy with laminate even if you had to use water or something you know you could peel it off but if you use, you know, like a glue stick or wet glue or something like that, it will um, come off in no problem. So you have this. You have your your big, big pocket. I don't know if you see clear down to the end. And then you have your flap. Now, what I want to do, uh, see, and this one I made a little mistake. I'm going to show you all my mistakes. So this one, when I cut into... You know this right here to open it up I accidentally lifted my blade and I cut a little slit right here right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this back through the laminator and see if it will stick together if it does not stick together it's not a big deal you know why because we can put a little piece of lace on the top here or something like that. You're not this big, but you know, maybe all the way across. Put a little piece of lace on it and it'll look wonderful. This one I have not cut the edges off, but I will cut all the edges off because they're very pokey. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you hit it just right and you have sensitive skin, it could probably cut you and um, on the edges here too so um, I've got I just turned my um, laminator on I have it right here beside me right here let me show you Ooh, right here and so I'm going to move this down a little bit oh this way a little bit that should be good is that good? Is that better? Okay. So let the laminator heat up. It takes just a, a, a minute or so. And I'll put this over here to wait. All right. So then I thought, well, what if I wanted to make a little one, you know, like to put in my purse? You know, maybe I want to carry some change in here or some money in here. Or, you know, if I'm want to save some money I can put money in there and put it on a shelf and um, you know all those things so I made a small one I did curve the edges on this so it's not gonna hurt me right yeah I have a good size pocket see I need something to stick in here will this fit no but this one will fit yeah okay so I made a uh, it's a good size pocket. It goes all the way down to there. That's pretty good size. Drop this down a little bit and then the flap. And I decorated the corners of the flap. So that we did that. And all I have to do is put a little snap there and um, snap it together. Okay. So that's another one. Let's run the one with the little cut in it through the laminator and see how it goes. Now the laminators, you know, uh, I have used one at work a long time ago, but, you know, they do get hot, so you need to be, you know, aware of that. Don't be touching where you shouldn't be touching, and 
um, you know, just be real gentle with it and, and it'll do a great job for you. This one is uh, a Quiwell. That's Q-U-I-W-E-L-L. And I purchased it from Amazon. I purchase most of my things from Amazon if I can or Etsy because, you know, I'm not able to get out, you know, into the world much and walk around. Um, I did uh, purchase a walker this week, so I'm anxious to, uh, you know, go out and try it and do it little by little and see if I can, you know, uh, get some strength up in my back and my legs. So um, I'm anxious about that. Let's see. Did this seal our boo-boo? hard to tell. I think it did. You know what? I'm going to put it through one more time. I'll turn it over and do it again. Alright. So, this one here <clears throat> is a very long pocket. And I thought it would be great to put my... Oh, and here's two of those butterflies that I showed you in that short that I did. Yeah, aren't they pretty on here? Anyway, um, this one here has some mistakes in it, some boo-boos, and I want to show you. This one, I also made the thumb hole. And, um, but when I put my papers together, <laughs> I tried so hard to get this on right side up, and I put it on backwards. So I will be putting a... Um, some kind of a, a sticker or something on that. And then um, I did the corners here and I rounded them off and I rounded off the bottom corners. And I have a really nice big pocket here for some sleet, for some die cuts, I think. Some good sized die cuts, I think would be nice in here. And then I'll just put a little, you know, Maybe I'll put a sticker up here for what's in there. You know, that's what I think I'll do with that one. All right. Now, I cannot see that hole that I showed you. It's barely there. I'm going to um, leave it be like that. I think, oh no, there it popped open. So, you know, that's, that's not a big problem. I wonder if I could put it through that way. Let's try it. You know, I've been trying a lot of things. There was only one thing that I tried where the laminator actually kind of groaned <laughs> when I put it through. I thought it was so funny, and I was kind of scared, like, oh, I'm not going to break it. I don't want to break it. So, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see how she works here. If it doesn't work, like I said, we'll just put a little piece of... Uh, you know, something on it. Lace or some um, tape or something. Yeah, it doesn't look like it worked. It tried to. <laughs> I'll give it that. All right. So, now this one I got kind of, you know, experimentally <laughs> with it. If that's a word. I make up my own words as I go. Just to give you an FYI. If I, FYI. <laughs> All right, now this one I wanted to turn it and make it the other way. You can make these as big as and as small as you want to. Um, you have to um, just keep within the size of your your uh, laminate pocket. Okay, so this one here I have not opened it yet. And I wanted to show you, I put one of the tiny doilies that I have a, a die cut for. I have a die cut for this little um, lantern with the sign. I think that is so cute. And so, to experiment, I put one of these, one of these, just one in there, because it says you can't put um, any kind of stuff not staples, um, oh, paper clips. It says you can't put paper clips in there. So I'm thinking if it's smaller than a paper clip or thinner, 
I might be able to put it in there. So this is the one where it groaned on me. But you would think that it would groan on this, right? No, it didn't. This is it groaned on this. I put a piece of um, avocado dyed linen in here and um, I glued it and put it down, let it dry. Then I got this little piece of uh, paper, it looks uh, sort of like leather, and I put it there so that's where the um, little snap's going to go and then I'll put the snap, the other part here, like that. And isn't that adorable? I love it. So I haven't opened it on purpose so I can just show you, you know, how I do it. So we're going to, I'm going to show you right now. I just take out a little piece of blade. Actually, no, yeah, that's not big enough. That's big enough. Okay. Then very carefully, I'm going to pick up over here not you probably can't see this you know at uh, I don't know I'm going to go there's a little kind of a foggy line along this edge and that's where I'm gonna cut this so I'm gonna carefully place this right in here and barely press Give it barely because this is only a three mil it's only a three mil um, laminate my uh, little laminator will do uh, up to five and but you can get them to do more if you want them stiffer okay and then I'm just going to come down here carefully slowly 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 come. Oh, so you don't want to do that. I'm going to set it down. Okay. Slowly coming around here like that. And then continuing on. Bit, oh, I don't want to do that. Slowly. Okay, here we go. And slowly coming along here. Oh, my goodness. All the way all the way over to here. Don't go off the edge. Let's see if I got all this. No. This part here was giving me a little grief. There we go. I think I got it that time. Okay, let's lift her up and see what we've done. Oh, we got a little bit right here. There we go. And now we can open it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Okay. This one here, um, I did fold this up like that on this one. And uh, since I made that little boo-boo here, you actually, I'm going to put it back through the laminator. It's still on, so it's hot. Let's just do her. See what happens. It, it might even groan for you. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing good and enjoying a summer. Can you believe soon it'll be August? I can't. My days and months, weeks are just flying by. It's amazing to me how much time flies. Okay, it didn't grow. I must have got used to it. But see, it still stays open. You know. So I think uh, that's a good example for you. And we'll put the snap in. Maybe we'll put the snap in on this one. So I've got my snap stuff here. But before we do that, I wanted to show you. Let's see how we're doing for time. Oh, we're doing good. We've got only almost 20 minutes. All right, now this is how I did it. Gather all this. First, I'm going to turn this off while I'm doing this. Press it over. First, you need 
your sleeve. Now, I intentionally tried to purchase matte, not glossy, but matte, um, oh gosh, laminate sleeves. Um, I looked up matte laminate sleeves. This said it was matte, and it definitely is not matte. So, um, we're going to just go with this. So this, I think this is a 9 by 12 or something. Let's see. No, this is a 9, uh, this is an 8.5 by 9. Well, close. 8.5 by 9. So what I'm going to do is, what is that thing? Show you how I put this sandwich together. Okay, I'm going to set this over here for right now. So I took, I was trying to make, um, you know, something a little bit, uh, let's see if we can do it. Can we do it this way? We could do it this way, but darn it, I, I did the, um, the inside short, so we're going to do it the long way. Shoot, I should have done it this way. Well, that's okay, I'll make another one. I got lots of paper. Okay, so here's... <laughs> Get this out of the way. Alright, so here's my paper. Now the trick to this is to get your paper to the right size. Now, if this is 11 and a half, I need to leave a couple inches for my fold down. But not only that, it's got to fit in my laminate sleeve. So I'm going to cut this again at, I'm going to cut it at 8 inches. Okay, right here. I'm going to make a mark. Cut it at eight inches here and here. And I'm gonna keep this as as plumb as together as I possibly can. Because it doesn't look good when you have them slipping, especially with different paper. Okay, so two inches. I'm gonna go two inches right there. Now I'm going to decide which side is going to be my front. Since I already have one like this for my front, I'm going to make this my front, and I'm going to cut it down an extra half an inch. See if I can do this right. <laughs> There's one inch. Oh, gosh. Um, probably about right there. I'm not going to measure, measure, but... That looks good to me, about right there. Okay. So now, I have my front where I'm going to put my thumb hole. And I have my back. Now, I don't particularly like the white showing through. So, I'm going to take the opposite. And I'm going to put it here. Now, to get all this to line up, you know, perfectly. I'm not very good at that. So, I'm going to use a glue stick. Now, the glue stick is going to just barely, barely, I'm saying, hold this in place. And this in place. This one I don't mind if it has a lot of glue stick because it's not coming off. So we can put this on, wiggle it up there. The glue stick will allow you to wiggle a little bit and get your <laughs> and get your paper in the proper position. All right. Now. Okay, now this one you can see is off a little bit. But with this, I'm going to 
do the inking. So it's going to be just fine. Since these papers are kind of dark, I am using walnut. Yes. Now this will be the inside of your pocket. So you don't have to worry too much. Okay. Now, this guy, which way do we want to put him? I think we'll put him this way. I think this is the way I cut him. But see, like, like I said, this is, uh, I'm gonna cut that. Where did I put my cutter? Mm. I'll just use my little one. I'll just use my little one. And I'll put it right about there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to ink around here. Oh, <laughs> covered it up. I think I need a little spritz of water for here. Oh, I took my water in the other room. Oh, I'm so prepared here. Yeah, every time I think I'm prepared, I'm not. <laughs> Go figure, huh? I had to have a little drink of water. All right. So, I'm going to ink this. And we all know how to ink, right? Unless you're new. If you're new, gosh, welcome to this craft. It is so wonderful. Very relaxing, very fun. No rules. Oh my gosh. What a better place to be. No rules, right? And um, you just do what you think you should do. If it's a failure, all you have to remember is it's only paper. <laughs> only paper. And, you know, it's, it's not a big thing to cry about. So, no crying here. Just a lot of fun, a lot of experimenting. I, I'm such an experimenter, it's not even funny. I, I always think, well, if it can do that, can it do this? I don't know why I do that. Okay, now this one, I put that, uh, that glue on it, but it's all dry already. So, I'm going to put a little bit more down here at the bottom. And it'll it'll uh, pop up. It won't. I didn't put enough to make it really stay. So there we go. Right there. That looks good. We can't put glue on all of it because then we can't get in the pocket. So there we go. There. All right. Now our top of. Now, these pockets I'm making are kind of big. So, you know, you can make these any size you want. So that's, you know, that's a, a wonderful thing here. All right. Now, this one here, I am going to have this part on the bottom side and this part on the top. So this one, I am, this is our flap. So I am going to glue our flap, mostly, mostly, doesn't have to be super glued down because laminate will keep it together. All right, yeah, let's see if we, I hope you can see me, let me look, yeah, you can barely see me, okay. And then all the way to the edge. You know, if you have a, if you don't cut very good, like I don't, um, and you have a lot, you know, hanging over there, you can either ink it like this. You can pop the uh, corners with a something fancy. I'm not going to do anything fancy with this one because I got some fancy ones over there. Um, I am just going to ink on both sides. 
and I might say I used um, one of my um, edge rounders and it didn't seem to like it. Um, let me see if this one. I don't know if I want to use this one. Maybe here's another fancy one. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, let's see. So we want we want it this way. So this shows on the flap like that after. Let me just try this. Oh my goodness. Do I want to do this? Ah, we did it. Okay. Mom, we did that too. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. So that's cute, huh? Okay, so now we've got this sitting here and it's starting to move around. So, I'm going to take the glue, and I put a piece of glue here, and I'm going to glue this down like that. Got an edge along here. I try to make it, try to make it even, but sometimes you try and try, and it just doesn't say yes. Okay, there's that. Now, we're going to put this one up here, and let's see. Yeah, we want it this way. Now, the important thing to learn here is that, well, the important thing for me to learn here was that I have to leave about a huh, less than a quarter of an inch, but uh, maybe that's an eighth of an inch. I don't know. It's, uh, it's about an eighth. So to hold that in place, Guys, I'm putting glue there, and I'm putting glue over here because I got it in place real good. I hope. Okay, now we close up our flap. Oop. Wants to stick with me. Make sure it's nice and. Ooh, it's got a lot of electricity. Okay, let's move the. Move the laminator over here and we'll move this over here like this so <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm doing okay let's put this in here till it catches oh I'm sorry I didn't put it on okay I gotta put it on I didn't put any decorations on this either it's kind of plain but I like it when a little green light comes on, I'll put it through. See how we're doing for time. Uh, we got 33 minutes going on here, which isn't too bad. And I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, the uh, snaps, you know, that I have. And let's see, I think the light came on. Let me look. Yep, the ready light's on. All right, here we go. Just slide it in really easy till it catches and then just let it go. You don't have to hold on to it. You don't have to catch it at the other end if it has enough room to go through. Gives you a chance to catch your breath, too. <laughs> do you ever hold your breath when you're crafting? <laughs> I sure do. All right. All laminated. It all went through wonderfully. And um, I'm going to go get something, so hang on. Okay, I wanted to show you the very first thing I used, you know, on my laminator to... Um, see if it worked, I guess. 
um, I put through some plain yellow paper, three sheets, and um, I have a little overage here, but I can cut that off. So with the three sheets, what it did is it made me a pocket here and a pocket there. Is that not so cool? So I can use this to store things in also. It's not going to have a, a cover, you know, a, what do you call it, a flap. But I just thought that was so cool. I loved that idea. And I don't know where my other punch went to, but that's okay. Right now, we're going to use the, but I, I had to show you that. Just in case, you know, you wanted to, you know, make some storage that way. Okay, let's make, let's make the little one. Let's do the little one. Okay, so this tool, now I bought this a long time ago, you know, so they probably improved, you know, I don't know. But this tool is definitely the one that puts in your snaps and it has a um, an awl it has a pair of tweezers these are just plastic but they're sharp and it has a screwdriver now I don't know what you'd use a screwdriver there's there's no screws here so let's see on the top this might be a screw thing I don't know I can't see in there but oh here here's the screws so they give you even give you a screwdriver all right so right now what I'm gonna do is pick a color okay I didn't finish with this I'm so sorry I'm jumping back and forth I want to I want to put this through again because uh, I don't think it was quite hot enough you can see a little bit here where I put the glue stick but that'll dry no problem and then um, you know then I'll trim all around and um, it'll be done I'm happy all right I am going to do some more um, in this uh, configuration because um, you know you can you can open it up but you can see down in there uh, farther so I like this configuration I think for certain things Okay, okay, let's uh, move it on. Uh, let's pick a color for, uh, it's pretty hard because none of this is vintage. <laughs> so I need to pick a color for this little vintage guy. Let's see, what's this kind of a, yep, that's what we're gonna do. So we need two of these, two of these with the poker thing with the point hope I remember this right and then I need um, like a male and a female I guess they call it like that must be a, a male and let's see this one must be the female okay so I will close this so I don't drop it all over the floor because I've been known to do things like that. And let's make a mark. Now, um, I'm going to use my little grill grid that I have underneath here just to kind of uh, get me in the middle. So... I have to, now this only has, you can only put it in the paper, in the, here so far, can you see that? Yeah, you don't really want to do that, but it only goes in so far, I'd say, I don't know, about an inch and a, a bit. So what I need to do here is find me a center, well the center's about right here. And I want to bring it down to about right here, but I don't want to hit this. So, let's see. Um, 
I think right about here is a good spot. I don't want to go through there. No, nope, higher. Okay, I think right about here. <laughs> hi, 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 Sherry. <laughs> I'm just going to try to do this. And you just poke a hole there. And we're going to just make the hole bigger. There we go. I hope this works. I'm scared. <laughs> you need to put this one. Oop. Sorry. Dropped in my lap. Okay. little shaky sorry and I got my nails done so you know when you got new nails it's a little hard to work around them I should have got them shorter haven't had them for so long I can't remember you know now I want to look under here and I want to see about where that's going and it's going right about here well that you can't see but I kind of know where it's at so it's right about here now be careful this all is super duper sharp. Now this one goes on the inside with the tab, the tab, the poker, I don't know what that's called, the point sticking up, <laughs> if I can get it in there. All right, here we go. I'm going to slide it, try to find it. Light it. Mm, come on. Getting close. There we go. Just got to have a little patience. Okay. Now we're ready to put, and it doesn't matter, I guess, whether you put the male on here or the female, which goes which, just as long as they line up and they go together. So I'm going to put this one up here. Sure you are. I get the little tweezers. Maybe that's what they're for. There. Let's push it down. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to slide this right in between there. Okay. And what it's going to do is going to smash down that little point in there and hold it in place. So, like this, till you feel it line up and squeeze. You don't have to squeeze too, too hard, but look at that. Isn't that nice? All right, now let's do this part. Put this part here. Like that. Oop. Okay, tweezers, that's what they're for. trying to hold my hand still. There we go. And then we'll need to go inside inside the pocket till we feel that little you can feel the bottom line up and you can see the top and squeeze and it flattens that out. Now, let's keep our fingers crossed that we lined it up right. It's going to snap. Oh, my God. Is that so cute? And I'll tell you what. These snaps are going to last forever. You can use these snaps on clothing, on, well, of course, paper, and, um, oh, God, all kinds of things. So isn't that adorable? I'm going to use this in my purse, you know, because I don't have a place for, um, my change, you know, and I think change will be in here really good because it's not going to come out because I got the topper. Yeah. Is that cool or what? I'm loving it. All right, so that's what I'm going to do, you know, with all the rest of my um, 
samples that I showed you and uh, the one that we made I'll be cutting it out and I'll be putting um, you know snaps on all of these and um, I hope you enjoy this I hope if you have a laminator that you will give these guys a uh, a chance and, and have some fun in the process and don't forget you know you can make um, your own little laminate folders like this you know I'm gonna put a, a thumb hole in here but isn't that nice you can put labels on here change them when you need to use any color you know it's gonna be fun I'm, I'm gonna have more fun with this laminator I promise you so uh, we may have more videos about laminating <laughs> and things that I've just, you know, tried, just thoughts that have come into my mind, whether they work or not. You know me, I like to show you all my mistakes too. And um, we'll go from there. So thank you for joining me today. I wish you all goodness. And um, Till the next time, you know, if you like this or if you like being here with me, give me a thumbs up and uh, click on subscribe. If you want to be notified when I do another video, then there's a bell there. You click on the bell. It has a drop down menu and just click on all and it'll give you all my videos that I have coming your way. So uh, take care and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye.